some more sulfur in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh! Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. Hello, friends, and welcome back once again to Subnautica Below Zero. I have some updates to show you that I've done off camera. I decided to do some base building off camera. I wasn't happy with the base. And, um, you know, I wanted to make a couple of the things off camera just to save time. Because, like I said a couple episodes ago, I want this series to be more action-packed really progress happening every episode instead of like last time where it was just like a couple episodes of literally getting nothing done so that's my reasoning behind it if you don't like it i'm really sorry but that's just how it is so anyway here's my base <clears throat> i made this control room but i haven't investigated it yet because i was waiting to do that with you guys on camera um so just one more tier very angry shark squid below us uh, one more tier of regular room and um, <clears throat> not finished up there, by the way. Just uh, going to be my living quarters up here. And then down here is going to be storage and uh, crafting and whatever. This is just like a, I don't know. I wanted kind of an overlook or an outlook thing, but I couldn't fit anything except this. So that's why this is here. Um, it's just the way to get into up here. And so the control room is a new thing with below zero. I'm not sure about this. Maybe I'm supposed to put another hallway there. I don't know. But anyway, we can see what time of day it is, which is really nice. Uh, it's approaching nighttime. Our structural integrity is six, which is why I have built the uh, things underneath the platforms. But also it's cool because we can see what, which parts of the base are compromised. Right now, the, the room that we're standing in is compromised. Um, we can see our power status, which is nice. And um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's pretty, pretty dang cool. Enable section. Oh my God, we can turn. <clears throat> I can't do this one, but we can unpower sections of the base. That is cool. So if we're in a power emergency, then we can uh we can do that okay I don't, i'm not sure what the point is for that i guess if you just have like a really huge base um i don't really see anything else for modules but i do realize that we can name and color our base so i'm going to be thinking about uh names for our base but um feel free to suggest them in the comments below but i i you know i don't know if i'm going to be able to get your feedback on that because I'm already a few episodes ahead. But if you request a cheesy name for something that I like that doesn't, uh, you know, that doesn't make it in, I could use it for a vehicle also. So just, you know, keep that in mind. Um, and I am reading, I'm reading all your suggestions and everything. So thank you guys for those. Uh, so yeah, base color, I feel like it needs to be, you know, the standard, the standard, uh, kind of cheese situation just like last time that seemed to work pretty good um stripe one we'll do uh ooh. <laughs> we'll just do, do two different shades of red i guess i don't know lovely okay now let's go and check it out so now it should be red outside the whole base should be red or yellow yes ooh, wow let's get in here and turn the light on and let's see Hey, there we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That. Now that's a base. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. That is a cheesy base. Okay. So once we name it, um, I don't know where the name is going to be. Is it going to be like on here somewhere? I thought I saw it before. There was like a thing that said base one. Maybe it's right there. I don't know. But anyway, we'll have the name on it and that'll be cool. And uh, base number one for now is what it is. It's just, just base number one, spoopy uh, base at the hole of death. Uh, I think we should go and do some things this episode that are important, like uh, following some of our landmarks. I was thinking maybe one of the things we could do is 
go to the uh, Delta waypoint because that one is the one we got previously. And I kind of think we should do things sort of in order so that it makes more sense. We also have a another, um, oh, the control room is the, is the thing. Interesting. Okay, we all, but we also have another alien thing, which isn't super far away. Uh, but Delta, Delta Station Dock is actually quite close to us. It's only 340. So yeah, let's go and do that. Oh, I made a grab trap as well. Wow. That is, uh, that's working. <laughs> um, I have water, right? I, yeah, I have water and some food. So we should be good to go on an adventure. And, uh, I really, really want to, really want to go on an adventure. I also charged the batteries of my sea truck. I'm hoping that we will find some more tasty, tasty blueprints and such for things that we need. Where did my waypoint go that I was heading towards? No, is it directly below me again? Why, why I no find, oh wait, oh, oh, there it is, okay. All right, oh, it is gonna be in the water. Okay then, Never mind. wait, maybe it is, maybe it is, maybe it's not. We are very, very high up. Wait a second. This is a new biome. Okay. This is all new to me. What's that? I think I should explore this a bit, a little bit. It's all new to me. I haven't been here before. It looks differently. This is like a volcanic area. Maybe I'll find some stuff here. Maybe rubies are here. <gasps> Maybe. See, this is why you gotta follow the waypoints, right? Because the game leads you to the things you need. You just have to, you just have to be a little patient and whatnot. Is this, okay, so that's the silver one. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be hot down here. Are these, let's go Lena. Okay, that's not. That's no different from what I was getting before. Hello? What is that? Whoa! Hi there! Uh-oh. I'm stuck. What's this? Is that gold? Oh, okay. I found a creature. Um... I'm very confused about, he looked really, really derpy, kind of. I think he was charging after me. Uh, but I also see, I see something down there. Is that, what is that? Whoa, do I have health thingies? Yeah, I do, okay. So, <laughs> there's diamonds, there's definitely a Crap a load of diamond down there, oh my god. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Okay, that was like a very bad decision on my part. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Okay, you know, maybe it's not quite as important as I thought it was. Never mind, I'm going for it. What is that? Oh, it's just a creature egg. Oh, Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, all right, time to go. Time to go. Well, that was very interesting. New things are happening already, and I'm happy about it. However, I gotta say, I'm not really ecstatic. Oxygen. Not really ecstatic about this creature over here. I'm going to approach cautiously. I know, I saw where he was. He was like right over here. Hello, what are you? Hi, uh, uh. Whoa! Are you a lizard type person? He's just attacking fish. Okay, he looks very silly. What are you? 
What are you? What are you? What are you? Excuse me. Featherfish? Featherfish. New creature discovered. Blending in with sunlight. Coming through the surface of the water. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful fish. He's beautiful. Okay, so Delta Station is just up here. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. Okay, so can I see it? Yes. Okay, good. Kind of got spooked coming out of the water there, not gonna lie. Alright, so that's like a weird crocodile guy. I don't know, uh... Uh, ooh, hello. I don't really know what the heck his deal is, but he seems fine. He seems like he's just hanging out, being weird. So I'll just leave him to do that, to do that all on his own. Um, maybe I'll just kind of park my doohickey around here and, uh... Ooh, wait, I can fit down here. What's down here? Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Oh, yeah. Advised. Okay. Yeah, I already uh, witnessed that quite a bit. But I like mineral rich, you know. Well, you know me. I'm on You're not here, right? No. I'm wondering about this. Is that anything? No. Small edible prey fish. Okay. Apparently it's nothing. I was really hoping to find rubies. No such luck. Uh, okay. Um, but I did find, ah! Oh God, that sounded very large. Whoa, that sounded like it was quite large. I may have found my first Leviathan. Oh, nope, it's just another one of those. Okay, never mind. Whew. I got really spooked for a second. Hi, uh, could you not cheat? Could you, do you mind? I would just want to get that sulfur, crystalline sulfur thing. Oh God, they're everywhere, jeez. Oh my God. Ah! No, you just want the, can I just, can I please just get the crystalline sulfur? And then, you know, maybe scan a couple things here. Maybe scan these. What are these? Fumarole. Okay. I'll have to read about it later. Lithium! Dude, this place is kind of cool looking. I'm being... I'm, I'm still very worried, though, in case there's something quite large around. We are very close to the top, though, or to the, uh, surface. Whoa! Did you just go right through the world? Oh, my God. He did. He just went right through the world and then zoomed off. I really wish you wouldn't do that. It's really annoying. Seem a bit preoccupied. Never mind. Uh, I was gonna scan something, but uh, oh, no thanks. Okay. Um. Well, this looks nice. This is lovely. Gee, I know I'm right by the the, the thing I need to be at, but I'm just I want to know what's around. Also, you know what I mean. What is that? What is that? Stone of an astronautical oh. salt vessel nearby. Oh no. Vessel name Mercury 2. Inoperative. Oh no, a sunken ship. Oh god, that's gonna creep me the F out. Oh my god, it's freaking huge. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, why? 
game has been fine so far. You guys are horrible, though. Okay, so I have a fear of large ships and, you know, well, really, like, large man-made objects. And large things. I just don't like really big things that are unnatural and, and they, you know, and, like, clearly this is going to be really freaking scary for me. So, yeah, I don't like it. I'm going to go back to what I was going to do before. <laughs> I'll just remember that that's there and, uh, oh, uh, and then I'll just, I'll go and do that later, you know? I think that that is a personable, a, a, a perfectly reasonable compromise. And, uh, I think that everyone should agree with me on that. Okay, let's go, f let's, ooh, hello. Whoop, see doodlies. I want this, I did not scan it. But this is where sulfur is. Makes sense, it does look like a crystalline sulfury area, doesn't it? Yes, it does. What is that? Hello? It's a shrimp. Let me guess, you're also going to murder me. Oh my god, I can't stay around here for long because there's this evil crocodile, guys. Hello, can you, can you swim? I almost said, can you fly? Are you allowed to swim? Hello? He looks like he's about to punch someone's lights out, doesn't he? Hello? Um, hmm. Well, maybe I can scan him then? Maybe I can scan him if he's not directly hostile? Rock puncher? Oh, he is gonna punch someone's lights out. Rock puncher. <laughs> Look at him, he looks badass. Uh, avoid or redirect with food, okay. Perfectly adapted to cave environments. They can walk on walls and propel themselves short distances. Okay. Heavily armored, vulnerable only to Leviathan class. That's just a regular crocodile, right? Okay. I, I mean, I hope so. Okay, so those guys are fine as long as you don't mess with them. That's good. I'm learning so much. I'm learning so many things. Okay, I think that we should approach Delta Station, whatever, the Delta Station dock. I will exit my vehicle while it is still daytime, and I will find the ladder to get up. Where is the ladder? Or I could just walk up? Yes. Okay, good. Pick up beacon. No, I'll leave the beacon there. Thank you very much. Hello. Fred, I'm not blaming you, but what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's right. This is oh, a crap. recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know what's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Hmm. All right, hold on. Let's go back in the water really quick. Get warm. Uh, I actually want to... Let's listen to that again. But back went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it. Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are. But you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Hmm. What did he lose? Cargo, I suppose. Because he's the, he's the truck guy. What the heck? Is this hot springs? Yes, it is. Okay, so I can heat myself up in the... Oh, hello. Well, that's good to know. I like how everything doesn't murder me in this game. It's quite nice. 
And then I know that you are nice, sort of. I mean, at least if I don't touch you. I, don't, I know I'm supposed to go in there, by the way. I'm just... I like to explore the exteriors beforehand. Hello! Hello, Penguin. You are, you are not nice. But that's okay. We can still be friends even though you're evil. Um. What? Horseshoe? Why does that thing look like it's alive? Fruit can be harvested and planted. Could be a sustainable food source. Oh. Oh, damn. That's good. Heck yeah, I'll take one of those. For my house. I actually... Um, I actually really need a nice plant for my house, so... Well, that's good to know that that's there. Okay. I don't really need... I already have way too much crap. See, this is where I really wish that I already had that upgrade. But I don't. For the, uh, you know, the, the old... For the old sea truck. Okay, um, let's drop titanium. And we don't need lead either. Mm -hmm. Take that. Sulfur caves. So sulfur is actually not hard to get. Good. Just needed to keep uh, exploring. Oops. Okay. What's, uh, what's going on here? Let's try and see if we can get into this base. Although I'm feeling we're going to be shot on sight. Because it was, uh, the, rec I'm assuming it was a recorded message said that we're trespassing. Hello. Some power generators. What's going on here? Mineral detector fragment. PDA. The manual gave me this jail broken scanner tool thing and said I need more shower heads. This should lead you to a necessary minerals. What? He also told me to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what the master certificate in applied geology gets you these days. My job is a glorified construction worker. Ugh, I should have studied interstellar law like dad did. I have to hand it to a manual though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job at zeroing in on the minerals. Yeah. Yeah, I already know about that. Thank you. I actually probably don't need all of this sulfur. I'm going to stop taking it. But yeah, so I suppose you're meant to come here earlier because I just didn't. I, I'm doing things in a in a weird order, just like always. But I have a flashlight now, which is going to help me a lot. Although now that it's nighttime, Ooh. honeycomb fungus. Uh, they pull nutrients from the soil. Now that it's nighttime, um, it's probably going to be pretty hard to see where to go. This is where I just was. Okay, is there anywhere else to go in this little cave? I don't think so. This is just where he was finding minerals, right? more sulfur in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Whoa! Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. Excuse me? I'm not alone here? Excuse me? There's another person? Like The woman in the exosuit has been traced as far as my technology will allow. Thank you? In the future, I hope you will avoid contact with the woman in the exosuit. I am among the last of a dying <laughs> civilization. If you were to compromise your well-being, the species could go extinct. What makes you think she's hostile anyway? A little grumpy, maybe, but who wouldn't be stranded out here alone? 
She did not respond to my distress call. And she is well armed. Maybe she's afraid of us. I have no desire to find out. Oh, shut up, Alan. You're not Signal in charge. Uploaded to PDA. You ain't in charge here, Alan. Also, that scared the crap out of me because I was not expecting a, like things to happen when I wasn't in the water. Uh, I found Delta Station. Oh, snow. Okay, let's uh, let's get inside before we freeze to death. Um, we'll, okay, we'll go up there after, I think. Let's grab this first so I don't forget it. Scanner room! There we go! Nice. Builder fragments. Don't I will tell you how imminent. Yeah, I know. I'm. Oh, is it going to open? Oh, God. I thought it was going to be frozen. Okay. There we go. Oops. Okay. Can't use any of this. But we can scan. Jukebox! Oh, I was right. Hell yes. Yes, listen to some soothing tunes by Altair, the best musical artist while you work. <gasps> I am so excited for that. Oh my god, I've never been more excited in my whole life. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? <laughs> oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies, and if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. So somebody's infected, probably. Okay, uh, this is a map. I'm gonna scan it. Okay, Delta Station, Mission HQ. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Phi Robotics Center, Engineering and Robots, Outpost Zero, Copa Mining Site, hmm. Omega Lab. Okay. Classified Biological Research. A. A. We got a large filtered water. That will come in handy. I should be able to find my way to Phi Robotics where Sam worked. Yes. 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 Ports. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Jeremiah Murgle. Technician. Oh my god, he's creepy looking. Okay. Oh, I thought that was a body under there. That scared me for a second. Jeremiah's bed. Why is this a different bed? Okay. Uh, I can make Jeremiah's bed. What? Poster. Oh, maybe that's going to be the ship I found that under the water. Fred's bed. Just different styles of beds, like with different bedding. Uh, okay, whatever. Sea truck. Well, I want that. Um, <sighs> I guess I'll drop the silver. I kind of want some of this stuff, you know. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here and as you know, I'm a pretty low maintenance guy to begin with but you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency <laughs> there have been some close scrapes for a while there someone was sabotaging my truck and i thought i was seeing things but my friend sam helped me sort it out 
Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling that Fred is going to meet a sad end. Okay, so I got a sea truck poster. I'm going to drop that guy. Oh, that's that's so awkward. What if I eat him? Uh, nah. But I want to take this. Say no. <laughs> Say no to sky rays. Whoa, that's a pretty, uh, thanks for everything, Fred, Sam. Sam's drawing Fred pictures. Ooh, is that going to be the romance? Okay, um, dang it. I don't, I don't have enough. I want the shaving kit. I'm going to have to drop the gold. Man! I'll drop this flare. I don't need that. Whoa. Okay, that's fine. All right, um... I guess I'll keep exploring. <laughs> that fish is just gonna twirl. Fred Lechance. Fred, career and maintenance generalist. Mm-hmm. Most important thing we got here was the jukebox. The oh, nutrient block. I didn't even see that. That's that's worth taking, I would say. Even if I have to replace this, let's just. I don't. Let's drop. I can't carry that much of those. Oh, dang it! Get out of my way! Okay. That's fine. <laughs> He's fine. Let's keep exploring. There's another building up here. We're gonna like, run out of space like nobody's business. But I'm mostly here for the scannings. Right? Emmanuel. Human Resource Communication Liaison for Altera. Ooh, nice Cushy bed. setup. Yeah. Must belong to one of those higher uppers. Yeah. We just learned about Maybe that. I can find clues about Sam here. Yeah, probably. Executive desk. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. Executive toy. I can make it now? morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling Project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important positive implications for the life sciences. Mm -hmm. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Ooh. Sam really got under management's skin. I didn't know she had it in her. David, you'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. What? That is, that's ridiculous. Finding ways to be better. I, I mean, I guess if you have to be a part, but if he wants to like be a part more, 
after they're already apart a lot, that's that's messed up. Did I do this one? Communications tower maintenance lock. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. Oh no. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. <laughs> oh, and I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Okay, so he's a little bit nutso. Sounds good. This is a thing. This is a satellite tower or something like that. Um, also... <laughs> Sky rays. Say no to sky rays. They're horrible. What the heck is this? Satellite surveillance. Surveillance. Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habitat construction and vehicular activity detected. Observe, observe and prepare for possible intervention. Oh. Wow. Man, I really need to figure out how to make a warm suit. Don't I? Tower maintenance log. Okay. Uh, this time the birds have really done it. Hate it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. Go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. Hmm. <laughs> Ow! So there's something in the old ship that I could use. Then I'm assuming. Did I? Did I get everything? I have no idea. Maybe. Hopefully. It's very cold. Um, that's where I was, right? Hello, penguins. Yeah, I must have came from this way. Maybe. Get him! Get him! Scan him! There we go. Okay. Presence may indicate nearby dry land. Yep, that was the same. Okay, so I can come here for um, sulfur whenever I need it. There's a ton of it. So my next objective uh, is to chase down that woman whose voice is very familiar, actually. Ooh. Gold. Wait, is this new? What is this? What is this? What's in there? Hello? How do we get that? Can I crouch? I don't think so. Can I get that? Uh, no, this just goes back. What? Hmm. Not that I need it or anything, but there was a bunch of diamonds in there. Goodness. My, my dog. My dog is, uh... She's barking at the penguins. Excuse me a second. <laughs> uh... I back? Did I die? I'm in my sea truck. Didn't know that I could 
be in my sea truck without... Oh, disconnect modules. Okay, I must have died. Yeah. Okay, uh, I would like to go back. <laughs> I would like to get the stuff that I would have... Oh, God, I, I didn't pause the game. Oh, my God, I was only gone for like five minutes. Did I die of cold? I'll have to look at the video. I don't even freaking remember what the heck. I don't even remember. No. I don't even remember like how to get to where I was, but. Yeah, there's all my stuff. I was standing out here. Oh, for Christ's sake. Okay, so when you die, uh, you drop a beacon and you teleport. You teleport to your vehicle? That's nuts. Isn't that, isn't that kind of crazy? Like, I mean, it's good, but it seems a little forgiving, doesn't it? I don't know. Ow. Ow, I burned my butt. I burned my butt. Okay, anyways, uh, we did it. We did this thing. Anything here I need to worry about? No, these are just... I, I was already here. Okay. So, I think I explored Delta. Um, I have a... I have a marker. Um, that one. Last known position of that lady. Wait, what is this more stuff? No, that's just where I came in. Okay. I thought that was a door, but it was stairs. So, um... Well, I don't have any space, so I think I should go back home and then come back again because I'm going to need to explore this sunken ship, which is going to be terrifying and I'm going to absolutely hate it. I want to plant this food, this uh, thing. Can I plant that? Or do I need the seed, though? I probably can plant that. Whatever. We'll come back if we need to. It's not really that far away. So, uh, and I want to drop all this stuff off here to decorate my base with. And then see about getting the sea truck extension or whatever. Um, the storage mo module, which I believe I can make. So I'm going to make that. I might just... I don't know. I, I'm, I'm wondering if this one is like make, allows me to make separate things from what I can already make. Or if it's just like an on-the-go fabricator. You know, I'm not really sure. So, But I'm definitely going to make the storage module because there's so much stuff I need to pick up and I think it's going to be really valuable to have that early on so I don't have to make so many dang trips all over the place. Man, I am not looking forward to that sunken ship. That is so spooky. Hi. Sorry. Didn't mean to have my light on and piss you off. I don't like, I don't like how loud those guys are. Is it just me or do they seem really, really loud? But one thing that I, w I wanted to say also, I think I might have said this before, but just in case, I really like how there is a mixture of above land and below land, you know? It makes sense that the humans are actually on land this time because I, I found it really hard to believe that the humans were settling, you know, in the last game. Like they kept going deeper and deeper and like freaking maniacs. It was just so weird, so bizarre. Where am I going here? This isn't where I'm even going. This isn't where I, my base is. This isn't right. I gotta go to my deep base. I gotta go to my deep base. I don't even know what I'm doing. Wee. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I don't. I really don't. Um. Yum. Yum. Vital signs stabilizing. You're damn right they are. You know what? I would be willing to put money down on the fact that when we go to that sunken ship, we're going to need the laser cutter. Because, you know, that's going to be old abandoned situations. And in the first game, all the abandoned shipwrecks underwater were definitely, um... Oh, great, shark boys. 
we're, we're definitely where we use the laser cutter. So, and on the Aurora, of course, but <sighs> I just, I don't like that. It's a huge intact sunken ship. I hate that so much. It's not going to be good for me, but I'm going to do it. Don't worry. I'm going to do it. I'm just going to complain about it the whole time. Go home. Hello. Welcome aboard, Captain. Gracias. Oh, I should have got some kelp for the... F um, to make my bed better, you know? The fabric... I need to f fabricate the fabrications. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, what am I doing? Uh, I want... First of all, let's build this plant thing. Oh, the jukebox! Oh, yes. I am so excited. Um, we'll do this guy. Mm, basic plant or chic. Might as well do another chic one, right? Nope, because it can't fit. We're going to save space. Titanium is what we need for that. I'm sure I have some, right? Unless I... I might have dropped it all, actually. I may have dropped it all. I'm going to need lithium, so I'll take that. I will put some lithium in here. I don't think I, I think I only need two. Um, focus. <laughs> Let me put this one over my bed. Uh, the star truck. Why can't I put posters here? <clears throat> oh man, that's dumb. That's dumb. Say no to sky rays. <laughs> okay, let's put some down here too. Truck on. Nah, let's put that somewhere else. Keep calm and truck on. That That's a good place for that. I like that. Okay, what about, uh, is this an actual, oh. That's like an actual nice photo. Can I put it behind the aquarium? No, I can put it behind this. Sure. Might as well have something there, right? Um, okay, then we have these two things. Which, okay, so, uh, I need to go get some titanium because I'm going to make the... Oh, I forgot the mod. The, I forgot the... Oh, I forgot the, the meat. It doesn't matter. I have to go... Because I have to release it on um, on the surface anyway, you know? So I might as well go back there anyways. Ah, uh, crap. Okay, so... Plasteel ingot and a wiring kit. And lead. That's super easy. I just need... Uh, Hopefully, yes, I already have that. Good. Okay. Um, which we we definitely have led somewhere. We have it somewhere. I need to be more organized. Okay. But now I have to go all the way back to the other base. This will be um, this will be the last thing that we do in this particular episode, since it's been almost an hour and my dog is starting to freak out. So, you know. No, you wait. But yeah, this is the last thing we're gonna do. Um, it's close to her dinner time and it's close to my dinner time. And I really do wanna keep playing though. I'm having a heck of a lot of fun. A heck of a lot of fun. A heckin' heckin' lot of a heckin' fun. Also, let me uh just qu quickly... I think I'm gonna make a couple fiber meshes because I don't want to forget to do that. Next time, uh, by the way, in case you're wondering what we're gonna do next time, I feel like we should probably go to that ship even though I hate it. But since I am going to have the storage upgrade for... The sea truck, you know, I just feel like maybe, uh, 
Maybe it's a good idea. Because I'm, I'm going to have a lot of space. So let's see how this is going to work. Sea truck storage module. Okay, so they... Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay. I will. Just a second. I'm busy. Okay. Oh, whoops. Uh, probably should move this. <laughs> Okay, so we got this. So... Whoa! Oh my gosh, look at this! It has... It's literally an interior. Okay. Wow, that is so cool. That is so cool. I love it. Okay, so let's... Let's see if we can attach it. Let's see if we can attach it to our... Lovely, lovely, lovely sea truck. How does one go about doing this? Move it first. Do I just like back into it or? Um... Oh, yep. I <laughs> just back into it. Okay. Is it, is it actually, oh my god, and then I can just, oh, wow. Is it actually almost broken? Is that what that means? Can I repair it from a, dude, this is cool. And then I can jettison them if I want. Wow. Oh, this is the laser cutter. I don't want to be laser cuttering my car, but yeah, that's. Yeah, not such a good idea. Oh yeah, I almost wrecked it by dropping it on the ice. That was bad. Calorie intake recommended. Eek. I, I need to move that vehicle bay. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. So, now that I have all of this stuff... By the way, let's leave... We should leave like just supplies here uh emergency supplies there's that's emergency supplies but now that we have all this stuff uh or the space in in our beautiful thingy ma -ding, ding we can totally we can totally use it as a storage place kind of like a cyclops except for it's like way more accessible which is real, really cool, as long as I don't fall through the floor of it. So I'm going to hold, this will be my area for, um, I don't know, I guess just like tools and what, whatever else I need. And then we'll put simple stuff in there. And <clears throat> less simple stuff in here and I don't even I don't even ask me what that means by the way I have no idea <laughs> it's just my way of remaining vaguely organized we'll put food in this one though we'll, we'll label this one okay uh-huh so we're full up we're full up I wonder if I could put a fabricator in here no probably that's probably for the other thing yeah, let's let's see what we actually need for the other one. I might gather that stuff off camera. Uh, okay, unpin that and then pin this one. Computer chip and lead. Okay, that's not hard to do. We could get that stuff because I have the plasteel here, so we could totally do that. We could totally do that. Seems good to me. This is cool. Excuse you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, that's it. That's it. We're going to end the episode now. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, next time, we are going to probably explore the sunken ship, or we may go after the last known position of that lady in the badass prawn suit. 
which I kind of think that that makes more sense actually because it seems like I'm trying to follow her and I should do that like re sooner rather than later. So we'll we'll see about that and uh there's just there's a lot of stuff that we can do so we're just going to keep on trucking in our sea truck. And I will probably farm the materials to make the fabricator section also and uh that will be pretty cool. So yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking about this playthrough in the comments down below. I appreciate your eyeballs. Special thanks to my patrons who are the storage containers of my heart. I don't even know what that means, but it definitely helps. And thank you for tuning into Lilia TV. Until next time, stay cheesy.